Welcome back everyone, David here. Let's talk about Kingdom Shell. After completing the game to a 99%, here are my thoughts about the game. I played the original game before it got updates or... Your character, he never says one word, not even in text during the entire game. He's a silent character. As you explore, you will find treasure chests that mostly always have coins. Sometimes there might be a potion. Defeating enemies will also get you coins. You can also find some hidden runes where there might be an HP or MP upgrades. These are in the form of a leaf or a small plant. That sometimes you just need to pick it up and sometimes you need to take that small plant out of the room so you can earn the HP upgrade. These will appear in purple in the map, these rooms. This game has many fake balls. You just need to walk towards them to reveal a hidden room or just destroy the the hidden crack wall with a bomb to reveal a hidden room. There are also various puzzles. You will need to think very hard sometimes on how to solve these. You, there are also these perks you can find in form of spheres. These can be to when equipped, you can have more money drop, increase defense, restore MP, increase damage, etc. Each one has its cost of space that will require you for you to equip them. You start with two spaces, but this can be upgraded to six spaces. Also your damage with a gnome jeweler found in the gnome's cave in his workshop. Some perks or upgrades can also be purchased by merchants. There is one or two in each area you visit sometimes. These will be highlighted in orange. They also sell potions sometimes. But you're gonna have to bring the correct coins because some, some of these perks do cost a pretty chunk of change. With all this exploring, you can also leave markers in the map. If you see an item or a door you can open, come back later. Your character will learn a few magic abilities that will cost you MP. Fire a small laser to hit enemies from afar, activate switches, or to throw bombs to break walls, or a fire start. Great to hit airborne enemies. Save points are in a form of crystal. These will heal you, but your MP won't that refills on its own. It is slow sometimes, but you can break these blue candles to recover some MP really fast. The moment you hit a save point, it will restore all the enemies back and also the candles that you break. Enemies don't respawn most of the time unless you hit the save point. The art style for this is fantasy pixel art and it's awesome. It kind of reminded me of Momodora. The detail and animation was very well done to Roman and his team with the music and the art style. Each artist actually did put a lot of good effort into this game. And it's the damage you get by normal enemies here, plus the traps can be a little bit cheap. They do deal more damage than they should have sometimes. They should be fixed by now with the update patches. Bosses. Oof, these are tricky sometimes and have a good defense and move fast with various attacks. Sometimes you have to fight them in short platforms. The platform obstacles later in the game can be difficulty. You have to time your jumps and attacks to elevate your character to reach a higher platform. Overall, the final score for Kingdom Chill for me... The art style, the difficulty and all the secrets and side quests is a dream come true for any Metroidvania gamer. With a little bit of challenging bosses. I do hope this one gets a physical release. Maybe with an art book. Or a digital art book maybe next year. Devil Link 05 signing out. Take care.